Hi, this is Larry. Uh, what I'd like to talk to you today is about how to create uh, multiple tables, join multiple tables together using the actual join operator. Okay. What we're doing is basically we're joining tables together and we have more than just what we use as a normal inner join, simple inner join, as we can do with just basically using select from multiple tables listed and then the where statements to connect it in multiple tables. The join command gives us more flexibility, gives us more identifiability to exactly what's going on. All right, uh, it's a little to me, it's a little more difficult to read uh, and to follow through in some cases, uh, but because uh, it can get very complex. Uh, but it's actually very beneficial to understand this and to use it because as your queries become more complex, uh, you may see different relationships, different types of joins that you may need to do. All right. So let's take a look at what we already have. We should understand how to create multiple um, uh, multiple tables together, put our uh, SQL statement and use multiple tables with basically using the select from where statement, okay? And as we can see, we have the two different tables and we've combined them <clears throat> hopefully by the foreign key or the common key that's between the two tables. And using the join, we can do similarly what we did here. So what we do want to do is if we just did in select Instead of copying all that, I'm just going to copy what I have here and then make a join statement from that. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that in here. So if we want to, we want to keep these tables. And what you're going to use the join statement is that we're going to uh, actually utilize the tables and that are in place here. So in this case down here, I'm going to uh, put this down a little bit further, uh, give me a little more room. So from in orders, instead of just saying orders from orders table and customer tables, uh, we're just going to say, uh, get rid of the comma here, and we're going to go down one line, tab over, and make it easy to read, join, okay, customers. And then the next thing you want to do is say, okay, join customers, you need to have a condition. What, com what are you comparing with? How do you do this? Okay. And when we look at this, we're going to use the word on. Tab over again, just make it more readable. On, and we're going to take what we used down here in the where statement that we had, okay? And we're able to go up and just put it right up in here, okay? Okay, let's move that. Okay, here we go. All right, so we move that up to there. And we can get rid of the where statement because in this case, we don't have any conditions to say where special conditions. But this is the same thing, runs the same way as the top statement does. And how it reads is from orders, join customers, meaning you're going to join them together and you're going to have on uh, orders on the two evaluation between the two different uh, foreign keys, the one foreign key and the primary key of the table that you're utilizing. Okay. In this case, the orders customer ID equals customer customer ID. And it runs exactly the same way. All right. So let's take a look at this. We'll simply execute this. Okay, and you can see down below here, we've run it and it's the same table tables that we're running. They look exactly the same, all right? So keep that in mind is that you have two different options here. You can use just simple select from where, uh, or you can do the select from join customers. Now, one other way to look at it, let's just take a look at doing multiple tables more than the two. Let's do, look, do a couple more of those. And let's start out with the order statement that we had before here. And uh, we have, um, this is what we did, we've done earlier in my previous um, video with this. And we'll come over here and we'll paste this in here. Okay. In this case here, we were saying join three tables together or put them together. And we'd have orders, order details, and customers, or orders, etc. And we can play the same, apply the same techniques that we did with this, uh, with the earlier example. By coming over, and I'm just going to paste in what I have instead of spending the time typing this all in for you guys, is that you can see here, if I put this in, and we put it in there, look at this, how this looks. This says, from orders, join order details. Very similar up here is order and order details together, and you're having the orders, order detail method uh, description here. But we're also going to say is now join customers to that. And we're going to do order customer ID and the same thing we had before up in here as the second is in the and. Notice there's no where or and or anything. 
And how this works is as you keep adding tables, you need to think about the sequence in which you're developing these things and how the relationships go. For in this case here, order in order details, all right, that's going to be when this runs, executes, this is going to run first, and there will be a result set. Think of it this way, anyways, how it runs, is that there will be a result set put together of that. And then there's going to be join upon that result set customers. So you're going to join all that around, join orders, and basically you're going to do that what result set come with that, and you're going to use order customer to further clarify it. All right. And that's as simple as it works. And you can do very more, much more, many more different uh, tables with this and combine it together. Understand is that a lot of the queries you're going to write are going to probably be two, three, or possibly four tables. But two or three are very common because a lot of times you're trying to find not just a data one table, you're trying to find how data relates like to an order where you might have four or eight different tables and you need to find several different tables to come up with a, a good query.